Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome, my dear seventh year students uh, at the Integrated Technological Cluster of Al Amiriya in our online session. Uh, let's begin uh, today's session by asking you this warm up question. Attempt to complete the following two sentences with appropriate ideas in your goal. Let's have the first sentence. Number one, by the next year, I will have. Now think of a uh, good completion to this sentence. Let's check. By the next year, I will have graduated from school. Uh, this is just one possible answer. You can have different possible answers according to what you see. Yeah, for example, you can say by the next year, I will have finished. I will have finished my online courses. Um, I will have uh, bought a car. I will have traveled abroad. Any 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 suitable completion would be okay. Let's have the second sentence. Number two. By the next year, I will have been. Let's check. By the next year, I will have been studying English abroad. I will have been taking driving lessons. Uh, I will have been thinking of my future plans. Okay, all these are different possible answers. Now I'd like you to think of the difference in meaning and the different tenses that each sentence has. Okay? What is the difference when I say by the next year I will have graduated from school? In this case, I have a time limit in the future, that is next year. But before arriving at this time limit, I will have graduated from school. This means that this future action will be finished. I will have finished the graduation. I will be graduated already, okay? By the next year, before the coming, before the starting of the next year, okay? The second question is the second sentence. By the next year, I will have been studying English abroad. This means that when the next year comes, I will be in the middle of studying English abroad. I will be abroad already studying English. I will have been already begun, and I will have been in the middle of the process of learning English abroad. So this is a continuous process in the future, and the time limit here is not at the end of this process, it's in the middle. So this time limit will be in the middle of the process, beginning before and finishing after. What tense do you think is used here? By the next year, I will have graduated from school. If you concentrate here, you will find that it is future perfect. In the second case, it's a cute future perfect continuous. Okay? Let's check more grammar about these two important but different tenses. Okay? Future perfect and the future perfect continuous. Use the future perfect to emphasize that something will be completed or achieved by a particular point in the future. For example, by this time next year, your self-confidence will have increased. This means that the process of increasing your self-confidence will be completed already or will be achieved already before the coming of the next year. Okay? For the future perfect continuous, we use it to emphasize the duration of the activity, the continuity of the activity, or the duration of an activity in progress at a particular point in the future. By the end of the next year, we will have been studying your chosen language for 12 months. By the end of the next year, we, you will have been studying your chosen language for 12 months. This means that before the end of the next year comes, you will be in the middle of the process of studying your chosen language for 12 months. So you may have, for example, studied three months and still there were other nine months to come or to finish studying in and so on. So again, 
the future perfect is used to express something that will be finished in the future before a certain time limit. The future perfect continuous stresses the idea of the duration of the process itself in the future. So it means that something will be continuous or will be happening at a certain point in time in the future. Okay? Let's have more practice about these two important tenses in English. These sentences about John's year abroad all have mistakes. So we will have now some sentences that all of them are mistaken sentences. Correct is mistakes using the future with well. This is simple future. Well plus infinitive. The future perfect and the future perfect consists of uh, well plus present perfect. Will have plus pp, past participle. Or the future perfect continuous will have been plus past plus present participle will have been plus verb plus ing then compare the answers with your partner you may choose for example one of your colleagues to negotiate the answer with them uh, let's have this example let's check the example by the time tomorrow the sentence reads by the time tomorrow john will travel for 24 hours of course here this does not mean that john will begin traveling because i use the idea that the the preposition by by here means that before the arrival at this time tomorrow so by this time tomorrow john will have been traveling for 24 hours does this mean that john has already begun traveling before this time tomorrow and when it comes to this time he will be still traveling and he will continue traveling after this time let's have the other questions number two by the end of the next year they will have been installing his phone then we can call him if you concentrate on the end of the sentence, you will find the sentence, then we can call him. This is the result. This means that we will be able at this time to call him. This means that the action is finished. So we can say, by the end of the next week, they will have installed his phone. Then we can call him. This means that the action of installing his phone will be completed, and the result is that we can call him. Number three. He will be going out more after a few weeks because he will have been more familiar with the city. Answer, he will be going out more after a few weeks because he will be more familiar with the city. Number four, after studying English for a few months, he will have felt more confident about speaking to people. After studying English for a few months, he will be more confident about speaking to people. He will be. Why will be? What present uh, future symbol? Because this action will start after he finishes studying English for a few months. So we use simple future, which is he will be more confident about speaking to people. Number five. By this time next year, he probably will not have been writing as many letters, but we will have continued to write to him anyway. We have two parts here. By this time next year, so I'm speaking about something that he that should have finished or completed, but it is not. So we sh uh, so we say by this time next year, he probably will not have written. He probably will not have written, but we will continue to write to him anyway, because the idea of continuing to write to him anyway will start even if he hasn't written for them any letter. Number six, I'm sure he will change a lot by the time he comes back to Korea. I'm sure he will change a lot by the time he comes back to Korea. Answer, I'm sure he will have changed a lot 
by the time before the time he comes back to Korea. This means that the action of self change was the process of self change will have been completed before coming back to Korea. Number seven, his family will have been surprised when he gets back because he will have been changing so much. His family, answer, his family will be surprised when he gets back because he will have changed so much. Now we have two parts here. The idea of being surprised for his family. This surprise will occur on the moment he arrives. Okay? Uh, arrives at, uh, at his home, for example. Okay? So we use future symbol. We say his family will be surprised. But the second part, okay, the process of self change will have been completed. Uh, and this is the cause of the surprise that will happen to his family on his arrival home. So we say, his family will be surprised, future simple, when he gets back because he will have to change it so much. This is something that happened and finished before he has already arrived home. Number eight and last, and just think, the next time we see him, he will turn 22 already. And he would be away for a year. Answer. And you think the next time we see him, he will have turned 22. Means he will have completed 22 year old. And he will have been away for a year. Both process will have been finished. This is the end of the session. Hope you have understood future perfect and the future perfect continuous. Thank you. Goodbye.